Starting from September 26, you can register to the event. There will be a button in the official website and you can connect with your GitHub or GitLab account. Why do you need to sign up? The Hacktoberfest challenge consists in completing at least four valid pull requests on GitHub or merge requests on GitLab and by signing up you can begin your quest and see the progress live starting from the 1st of October. If you don't know how to create a pull request, we'll see it right now. If you already do, you can skip to the menu you see here. From the repository you want to contribute to, head over the top right corner and click the fork button. This will create a copy of the repository on your account. You need the fork because you probably do not have right access on the original repo, so you cannot do the changes there, but you can do them in your own local copy. And that's what we're gonna do. Clone the fork repository on your computer and here make sure to create a new branch. You can do the changes, commit and push. If you follow these steps correctly, right after pushing the code, you can head over the original repo and you'll immediately notice this banner on top suggesting you to create a pull request. Click on the green button, fill in the details and your PR is live! If you got lost in the process, I got you covered. In the description of this video, I will link you other videos I already made explaining in detail each of these steps we've just seen, including the git commands you need, how to use the github desktop UI instead of the terminal, how to find a repository, and obviously, if you have a question, feel free to ask. In any case, I talk about open source in a lot of video. You should definitely subscribe to my channel if you love open source too. But what makes a PR valid? To begin with, it has to be merged. So please patiently wait for the maintainers to review it and give you feedback. Don't forget that it's not a race. Take your time. The maintainers of the project might take a few hours or even some days to get back to you and that's totally fine. In most active projects, you'll probably get an answer quite soon. But if you have to wait, that's part of the journey, so that's fine. But back to our rules. They're all listed in the official website, so let's give them a quick look. First of all, the pull request has to be within the bounds of Oktoberfest, which is as easy as October 1st to October 21st. So even though you can register to the event starting from September 26th, Make sure that your PRs are created between October 1st and October 21st. Which does not mean you cannot contribute to open source in the other days, but it's just for the scope of this challenge. The repository has obviously to also be public. Next up, we have to make sure that the repository does not go against the Oktoberfest values, otherwise it will not count. For example, in the past editions, there were some repository just called Oktoberfest pull request where people were just spamming pull request, which also goes into our next rule. Make sure to not spam. And this actually, those actually are slightly different because this one is about repositories against the rules, while this one is for repositories that are actually within the rules, but your PR is spam. What is a spammy pull request? Just a pull request which doesn't add any value, you just change a file, add a couple of empty lines and submit your pull request. Well, here maintainers can immediately flag the pull request as spam and it will not be counted. The next rule is that pull request must be in a repository tagged with the Oktoberfest topic or have the Oktoberfest accepted label. But what is the Oktoberfest topic? Well, let me open a repository. You can find here on the right column Oktoberfest listed between other tags and those are actually the repository topics. So make sure the repository you want to contribute to has this badge in order to be counted to Oktoberfest. If it doesn't have the badge, you can either ask the maintainers to add it or contribute anyway, because it's not just Oktoberfest, it's open source. <laughs> Next up, your pull request must not have the invalid label. And this is pretty much similar to the spam label if the maintainers add invalid, the pull request will not be counted. Next, we have that all pull requests must be merged or have the Oktoberfest accepted label or have an overall approving review. 
Once you meet all these criteria, you have to wait 7 days which are mostly used to give maintainers time to give the invalid or spamming pull request in case of need. But in most of the cases, if you respected the rules and you actually added value to the repository, there's nothing to worry about. The last bit of information you need to know is that PRs, once verified, will be valid only after 7 days and there's a countdown updating real time that you can see on the Hacktoberfest page. This is pretty much to make sure that the PR is actually valid and it's not spam. And that's really it. Actually, it's easier than it seems. If your pull request is really adding value to the project and the repository has the Oktoberfest topic, there's pretty much nothing else to worry about. Your PR will likely be counted. If you want to learn more about Oktoberfest, you can have a look at all the videos here in the description as you will find a lot of useful links. Thanks for watching this video and happy Oktoberfest! Bye!